All right, America, listen up. We've got something big to discuss today. We need to talk about China. Yes, that China. No, not the panda and fireworks version. The holy crap they're coming for our global lunch money version. The one that's making waves across the globe. We've all heard the doom and gloom. China's economy is booming, their military is expanding, and they're churning out scientists faster than we can say intellectual property theft. It's like they're on a mission to outdo everyone. But hold your horses, cowboy. Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. It's not as simple as China good, America bad. The reality is far more complex and nuanced. This isn't your grandpa's Cold War, folks. We're dealing with a different kind of rivalry. No more nuclear standoffs and cheesy propaganda films, though admit it, those were kind of fun. This is a new era. This is a whole new ball game, played on a global scale, with rules even Mark Zuckerberg couldn't manipulate. It's about technology, influence, and who gets to write the future. So buckle up, Buttercup, because we're diving headfirst into why the US might just be doomed. Or maybe not. Don't worry, there's a buck coming. Maybe. Stay tuned, because this story is far from over. Let's dig deeper into the tech race. China is not just catching up. In many areas, they're leading the charge. Take 5G, for instance. While the US is still rolling out its network, China has already blanketed its major cities with this next-gen technology. And it's not just 5G. From AI to autonomous vehicles, China is pushing the envelope in ways that are reshaping industries. Meanwhile, American tech giants are facing their own set of challenges, from regulatory hurdles to international competition. It's like a high-stakes game of chess, with each move carefully calculated. The question is, who will outmaneuver whom? The future is uncertain, but one thing's for sure. The game is on, and it's going to be one heck of a ride. So, stay tuned, because this story is far from over. The next chapter is just beginning. Let's face it, folks, the US loves a good show of force. From the roaring jets to the massive aircraft carriers slicing through the ocean, it's all about projecting power and dominance. We've got more aircraft carriers than a bathtub has rubber duckies. These floating fortresses are symbols of our military might. Patrolling the seas and ensuring our presence is felt worldwide. But China, they're playing a different game entirely. Instead of flexing military muscle, they're weaving a web of influence through strategic investments and diplomatic engagements. They're all about soft power, baby. From cultural festivals to educational exchanges, they're winning hearts and minds without firing a single shot. Think Confucius Institutes, popping up like Starbucks, offering language and cultural education to thousands around the globe. These institutes are more than just schools. They're bridges of understanding and influence and panda diplomacy. It's melting hearts and wallets worldwide. These adorable ambassadors are more than just cute faces. They're symbols of goodwill and friendship. Heck, they've even weaponized TikTok, turning our teenagers into unwitting agents of cultural influence. Through viral dances and catchy tunes, they're subtly spreading their culture and values. And while we're busy debating the merits of pineapple on pizza, Getting lost in trivial arguments, China's building infrastructure in Africa, laying down railways, highways and ports. They're not just constructing buildings, they're constructing relationships and future alliances. Cozying up to Latin America, investing in their economies and forging strong diplomatic ties. They're making sure they're seen as partners in progress and basically making friends everywhere. From Asia to Africa to Latin America, they're extending their reach and influence, one handshake at a time. It's like they're hosting a global kegger, inviting everyone to join the party, while we're stuck at home arguing about the thermostat. The world is changing, and it's time we rethink our strategies. Remember the internet? That bastion of free speech and cat videos we thought would liberate the world. Yeah, well, China's got other plans. 
They've built themselves a lovely little intranet, a digital safe space where Winnie the Pooh memes are strictly prohibited. And while we're busy arguing about net neutrality, they're controlling the narrative, shaping how an entire generation sees the world. This isn't just about censorship, folks. It's about controlling information, shaping narratives, and ultimately wielding power in the digital age. And frankly, they're eating our lunch. Remember when America was the undisputed king of innovation? When Silicon Valley was the envy of the world? Well, wake up sheeple because China's coming for that crown too. They're investing billions in R&D, churning out engineers like hotcakes and building cities dedicated to technological advancement. They're even beating us at our own game, developing cutting-edge AI, quantum computing and 5G technology. And while we're busy arguing about whether Mark Zuckerberg is a robot overlord, China's building the future, one microchip at a time. Yen to be believed, China's economic endgame. Let's talk money, honey. For decades, the US dollar has been the world's reserve currency, the big cheese, the top dog. But China's got plans to knock the greenback off its throne. They're pushing the yuan as an alternative, forging trade deals that bypass the dollar and generally making themselves indispensable to the global economy. And let's be honest, folks, a world where the yuan reigns supreme. That's a world where China calls the shots. So, is America toast? Spoiler, it's complicated. Okay, so I've painted a pretty bleak picture. The storm clouds are gathering, and it seems like the American dream is fading into a distant memory. China's on the rise, America's looking a little shaky, and the future's about as clear as a bottle of kombucha. The global balance of power is shifting, and it's easy to feel uncertain. But before you start digging your survival bunker, take a deep breath. Remember, history is full of twists and turns, and nothing is set in stone. It's not game over yet. The sun still rises over American cities and there's a sense of hope in the air. The US still has plenty of strengths, a powerful military, a relatively stable democracy, and institutions that, despite their flaws, have stood the test of time. And let's not forget the cultural influence. From Hollywood to Silicon Valley, and yes, we did give the world Beyonce after all. American culture continues to inspire and innovate. The future's not written in stone, folks. It's an open book, and we have the power to write the next chapter. It's a choose-your-own-adventure, and the ending depends on the choices we make today. Every decision, every action, shapes the path forward. So, let's choose wisely and work together for a brighter future. Now it's your turn, panic in the comments section. So, what do you think? Is America doomed to play second fiddle to China? Are we headed for a glorious comeback? Or will we all be eating Panda Express and speaking Mandarin by 2049? Head down to the comments section and let me know. And while you're at it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Because nothing says I'm a responsible citizen like obsessing over geopolitical analysis on the internet. Want more doom scrolling? Check these out. The World According to China by Elizabeth Economy. Destined for War, Can America and China Escape Thucydides' Trap? by Graham Allison. The Hundred Year Marathon. China's Secret Plan to Replace America as the Global Superpower by Michael Pillsbury. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.